Hello guys, Zo32 here. Today we are going to be checking out the Churchill Crocodile. This is an event vehicle from the event Smell of Victory. Uh, well actually it's not really an event, it's on the Battle Pass Smell of Victory, which included um, the Zippo, which is the only and first flamethrowing boat um the churchill crocodile which is the only and first flame throwing capable tank and the a8 the ah1 um scott raider i think sky raider um so we're gonna be playing as this um the churchill is generally very well armored tank um i haven't I don't have any other Churchills, given that I don't main um, Great Britain, and I only have this in um, the DB7, which I got from like some uh, very high-level crate from probably some event, probably um, the anniversary or something. Um, and, um, yeah. It would be nice if you could detach the trailer, though. Um, because if you get shot, for people that don't have it, if you get shot in the trailer, it blows up. And the repair time is just, like, an entire minute, which is, like, ridiculous for repair times. Um, and even when it is repaired it does not refuel it because it loses all the fuel so it'd be really just it'd really just be nice because if you could just detach it it wouldn't matter and you wouldn't have to repair um just be a lot easier if that was a thing but it's not um it has smoke grenades um just like all british tanks except for like the reserve ones it does not have um APHG. I don't even know if Great Britain ever gets H APHE before there's like high rank like heat FS and like APFSD um, and that stuff. Um, but yeah, it has a very high survivability rate, I'd say. Very low speed. Um, but I mean, the Churchills, they were kind of meant to like protect the infantry. Um, it's generally not the best to um, have to reverse up. I mean, it, it, after all, it does have a trailer. And everybody knows that reversing a trailer is not fun. And it just cannot reverse. It, it, it can't. Like, with or without the trailer it the British tanks just don't reverse oh I see. are you ouch where did that hit from crit hit okay Okay, that was... Oh, where is this guy that's shooting at me? The, what? He's right... What the heck? But where? There, maybe? Uh, the flamethrower is either useful or not useful. It generally is not very good, except for like open top vehicles. Oh, there's a nice kill. Um, 
because, um, well, it, it burning just does not really work. You're not gonna melt the metal because, um, fortunately, the game doesn't have physics that. Yeah, I feel like that should have been a kind of physics added. I mean, I feel like that generally would be a good type of physics for War Thunder because, like, how the game works. If you shoot somewhere and you can't pen it, like, you're not gonna pen it if you keep on shooting at it. But in reality, the metal would get weaker and weaker every time you shoot at it. Um, so, I, um, I think it would be nice if they incorporated that. And, like, maybe also something like that for, like, the flamethrowers, like, they can event at a... Like, if you sit there burning something for a long enough amount of time, it'll, like, melt through the metal, maybe, and, like, um, then you'll be able to kill it. Uh, but then, then again, I don't even, I, I'm not sure if that would be a thing in real life. I, it probably wouldn't. I mean, we can all hope. What was your goal there? Oh, that's a non pen Oh, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Uh, okay, that sucks. Well, now I'm just down to a machine gun. Uh, come on, hit the machine gun port. Stop shooting right there. Oh, oh dang. They're, they're hammering at me. Oh, and there's a flak. Oh, and there's an M20. Oh my gosh, there was a Hetzer as well? A Hetzer, a flak panzer, an M24, a Russian tank destroyer, and a Sherman? That's a lot of vehicles. But, this is that British plane. It's the DB7. At first I thought it was like a... Um, I think it was the, like, A-20, I think it is. I thought it was, like, a A-20 that was, like, given to the, um, the UK, but, no, it's, um, that's not the case. Uh, it is different. It has four MGs in the front, but the thing I like is... I don't know why, but I really just like it when gunners have a lot of tracers like this. Like, I feel like it makes you really realize, like, how much bullets are really getting out of there. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright. Got a hit. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. That is not at all what I expected. I thought I would have to put a lot more bullets than that. Please? Aw, oh, dang it, nothing. Oh, we won though. That was a good round. Oh, it got me up to pretty much a hundred thousand, whatever. But it's off by 199. So, it's not that big of a difference. Um, another thing to mention, um, this is a really great Silver Lion grind. Um, having, um, like, for me, the Churchill Crocodile and the DB7, this is a really, it is indeed a really good way for, um, grinding, um, well, not really grinding. I mean, if you're grinding the um, British tech tree, then yeah, I could I could see how that might be useful. But for me, it's really just for um making um easy money. So and I'm it's really good at doing that. It can make quite a lot of money.
but <sighs> get Japan. <sighs> I'm probably gonna go for the B point. I do really wonder if there ever was a map that had a D point. Because I've heard that there was a map that has a D point, and I know there's a custom map that has a D point, but I don't know if there was actually ever an actual B point. And holy Churchill crocodile, that is. That's a lot of Churchill crocodiles. Oh, there's that new T1E1 tank. Aw, oh, make the Shermans mean. Burn them, lads. It's just chaos. Flamethrowers are fun. That guy has some decals on. I don't actually have any decals on this. Except it is one of the only vehicles where I have a decoration. I have that little wand, so it kind of looks magically. Uh, not really, though. in the Vietnam War, but I think this would have been the tank they would have brought, brought I guess, brought, what am I, what am I saying? Are these guys going for B? No, I think they're going for A. I mean, I guess I probably ought to go with them. Oh no, it looks like this Churchill's crocodile is going over to B. Oh yeah, I want to go over to B anyway, there's probably some kills over there because I can clearly see that it is becoming captured by the enemy. No the but as you witnessed, um, in the last round, it took about... That's a tree. It took about four tanks to kill me. There was that head killed five, but the head sir had not shot me. Oh, we are at the United States on our side. That's nice. Um... But that was four tanks shooting at me. That's Russian tank, the Sherman, the Flak Panzer, and the Chaffee. But then again, the Chaffee actually, I'm pretty, I don't think he put multiple bullets. I'm pretty sure it was a one shot. But, yeah, um, Churchill's have a butt ton of armor. Dog. I just heard a flamethrower. What's who's fire? What's firing? Where? What is shooting? Okay, something's. Something over there is shooting. What else? Oh, look at him. Little bugger. Oh, he's not much of a secret anymore. Once he gets his turret crew back, I need to keep on shooting in that area. There we go. Yeah. 
Because if you shoot it enough, then... Oh, I see something in there. Oh! Oh, I thought that kill had just registered and I accidentally killed it, but it didn't register on my screen. And what's shooting over here now? I thought I dealt with what was over there. Okay, well now it's definitely dead. over there. I'm gonna go cap B if I can get there in time. Oh my gosh, I forgot. British tanks don't have a reverse B. They don't, it, they, it's, they may as well just not reverse. I mean, you'd probably be better off that way. So far, none of us um, crocodiles have died. I, bl I don't think. Yeah, we're all alive. Well. That's my fault. Yep, that's my fault. I, I, uh, I said we were all alive. Now we're not. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh gosh, now they're shooting me from that side. I got abdomen. Must have changed the sound effects for um artillery, cause that does not sound like um how it does. In the plane again. Uh, it actually has two gunners. One's down there, which does mean that it actually has a f four person. Yeah, there, there's only one guy. Up front. Is that guy? Wait. Oh, that's that. Guy. Oh yeah, that guy is laying down down there. I thought. I don't know what. Okay. Can I? If guys, if you see this, can we please get bomber interiors? Like bomber interiors would just be lovely. Like, I would just love that. Is that a panther? Yeah, it's a panther, all right. Oh my gosh, they didn't drop! Wait, what? They did? Wait, what? Then where, when did they drop? When? Oh my gosh. This is why bomb bay doors on attack aircraft like this are just not good. Like, tactical bombers should not have... Bomb. Wait, what? I didn't even know that, that, I didn't even know that was there. What? That's funny. Yeah, I literally did not even know that there was a guy right there. Okay, well, that's fine with me. I mean, why, why would I complain? Oh, that P-40. What? What? Huh, what's he shooting? I don't know what he's shooting at. Does this have air brakes? No, it doesn't. Why am I leaning to that side? Oh, that, that side something is... I don't know if the gear would break off at this speed. Uh, there's only one way to find- Yep, they would indeed break off at this speed. Up, uh, flaps, that way. 
Okay, gear, just get the gear down. I need to land. Please stop. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to do a, a go around. <sighs> that must be one of the first times I've had to do a go around. Okay, I was going too fast. <sighs> Wish they had invented air brakes sooner. Actually, what I should have done is I should have put the landing gear down so that it would let me put the flaps down for the landing flaps because it won't let you put landing flaps down if you don't have your, your gear down. Um, because flaps do help you slow down, but un it wasn't enough, pretty much. But I believe we should... Did that guy just J out? Or is he just repairing? Because he's not marked on the map anymore. What happened to the P4? P did the P51 just J out? What? what? <laughs> Why'd he do that? <sighs> the things that you'll never know. I may as well keep the flaps out because this serve is a good way to work as air brakes, I guess. The B well, personally me, I think that that's a lovely way to um, talk about this plane. Um, it looks like an A20G. Uh, that was, no it doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, at first glance from a what, um, a little bit of, from a ways away it might look like it, but I mean, then again, it's, it really doesn't. going on 23 minutes of recording so this will probably be one of my longest videos well one of my new videos the longest out of the new videos I've been putting out because I'm pretty sure there's longer videos actually no no there isn't longer videos so this will be the longest unless there's some other earlier video I made earlier in the past two or three weeks which I don't think there is but yeah it's um the only thing I would really ask of this plane is I wish it didn't have a bomb bay because bomb bay is just they're just not good I, they're, it's, bombays are just better for, tac, no, not tactical, strategic bombing, and um, I don't know what the intended use of this was, it, it does, it does say it's a frontline bomber, but I feel like this looks like more of an attack aircraft, oh, there's something right there. What is that? Oh, it's one of those Russian tank destroyers. Was one of those Russian tank destroyers. I believe that that means that that is clear. Ooh, that's a server ammo. I probably don't even need to put my guns into it because I'm pretty sure that'll, yep, that'll do it. That will indeed do it. 
Oh wait, but that wasn't the guy on the cat point, was it? Wait, what? Did I lose something? Oh no! I lost- oh! I am not about to spawn that. Yeah, that I know. But, that is the end of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.